I would love to have had a Paralympic gold to my 14 Grand Slams. I've got two silvers and a bronze at the moment, so to complete the set is obviously the dream, and we're going to Tokyo with that as the intention. It's going to be a, a, tough, uh, a tough ask, but I want to go there and, and get two gold medals and, and the singles and, and the doubles. I don't think it's been done before, so I'm, I'm setting myself a high, a high bar, but I believe we can do it. I'd love to be going for a gold medal. You know, Geordie and I have won two bronze medals. There's many good teams out there, so we're going to have to go out and, and play well and perform, but I think we have the ability to, to go for gold. It's an absolute privilege to be able to, to, to compete with, with the GB flag behind you and the nation supporting. Paralympics is an event that only comes around once every four years, so the opportunity to succeed there is, is a lot less than the Grand Slam. So that makes it, I would say, the, the pinnacle of, of wheelchair tennis still, and even harder to, to come back with, with any medal. My first Paralympics was Beijing, and I think that gave me such valuable experience of what a Games is like. It's so different to a tournament, you know, you're there with so many other teams, we're not just in like the wheelchair tennis bubble, so that was absolutely key for going into London and, and really focusing on wanting to get a medal. So I think that knowledge of what it's like, the the village, the environment, just kind of being amongst a team and you know maybe just not being in your own small bubble with your individual team. So all that knowledge is so key. Balancing singles and doubles for me isn't really that much of an issue. I love playing doubles and I've played doubles all my career and I'm playing with one of my best mates, Anthony Cottrell, so I'll be going all out in both categories for sure. This isn't an event that you, you prep just before you go out. This is something that ever since the last one's uh, finished, you start you start looking ahead. So this has been four years of training. I'm in a good shape. We've played a lot of tennis over the time and, and mentally, I think you, you have no excuses to, to get yourself up for it. It's the Paralympics and um, as much as there will be a lot of pressure, I think playing in the Grand Slams um, gives you that opportunity to cope with it. A really big thank you to everyone that plays the National Lottery, that buys a ticket. It's through that money that helps us as athletes be full-time athletes and to be able to afford to train and to compete and hopefully bring back medals for our country to celebrate. Gumbara, Igirisu.